What's up everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. And I'm Chris K. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. Welcome back for another episode. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to get right straight to the gameplay, you can go to this number right here and it'll take you right to the gameplay. Otherwise, we're going to get the show started. Now, it has been quite a while since we've actually done a fresh episode. Yeah. Things have been busy. We made the update video, so if you guys have watched that, you kind of know what's going on. But things have been busy, and we have been playing catch-up. Mm -hmm. I've been getting lots of stuff out there. A lot of Turok Evolution, a lot of um, Zero Tolerance, yeah. Star Wars, stuff like that. Finally watched the end of those. Yeah. And so now we're back, trying to start fresh get going. Now, usually what we do is we talk about what's new with us in the world of gaming. There are three parts to the show, and the first part is we talk about what's new with you in the world of gaming. Mm -hmm. But because this game is so long, it's going to take us a while. We want to get right straight to the game, so we're not going to yak a little bit. We're just going to get right to it. So, without further ado, let's get to the game. The game we're playing today is Sonic the Hedgehog, the original Sonic the Hedgehog on the good old Sega Genesis. Of course, with me, we I like things complete, and we have it complete. We got the game and the manual. And like I said before in our other episodes, we don't like to cheat, but I do like having the manual so you can read up on the story, you can check out the enemies, and maybe if there are hints, maybe they tell you in the manual, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Now, I never really grew up with this game. I grew up with Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Yeah, me too. And I know this game is a little bit different. Sonic 2, you know, you can push down and hit A and you do the spin. And this one doesn't have it. This is more no like an dash. yeah. This one is more like an original old school platformer. Yeah. And the thing is, this game is actually pretty brutally hard. Yeah. It's I mean, screw Dark Souls, <laughs> screw Bloodborne. This. We got Sonic the Hedgehog on Genesis. Sonic the Hedgehog and um, Family Feud on the NES. Yeah, oh, that one's pretty tough too. <laughs> Hardest games in the world. <laughs> so this is gonna be a while. So I figured let's hop to it and get yeah. the game going. So right. let's pop the puppy in and get going. You ready to play? I'm game. I just realized that'd be a good t-shirt. Just us sitting there, a little bubble above you, you ready to play, and then a big bubble underneath me, it's like, I'm game. <laughs> Make an American Gaming Geeks comic book. A comic book. <laughs> Alright, so this is the Sonic the Hedgehog title screen. If you notice, there's no options, there's nothing you can push. And if you actually just let it play out, it'll start doing demos, which is kind of cool. It'll show you a Green Hill Zone. Yeah. And then if you do it again next time, it'll jump to another stage, like Marble Zone or whatever, and yeah. Labyrinth Zone. and So it just shows you a little demo. And because of certain parts, it's kind of painful to watch because they hit all these... He's not playing good. Yeah. He's got to get good, bruh. He's, he's, he's playing about as good as I do. So it's an act. Apparently it's, it's not even Yeah, real. we're watching a play. Smart. That's what always got me about Sonic. Why is it an act? So, all right, here's the thing act with too. this game. One of the things I love is the graphics actually look really awesome. Like, number, look how colorful it is. Yeah. And you got to look at the water. The water's doing its own thing. you got all this crazy parallax scrolling. And look at the waterfall. You got a waterfall going, you got parallax right. scrolling, and you got the flowers turning. Mm -hmm. All this stuff going on, and there's like no slowdown, yeah. no lag. Of course, Sonic is slow enough. <laughs> it's like a robot it's trying hard. to control him. He's got like a lot of mass to him. He, he takes a while to get going. Once he gets going, he's like really going, and it's hard to stop. <clears throat> so anyway, the thing about this game, um, like I said, it makes it kind of tough. Yeah. Is uh, what were you gonna say? I was just gonna say there's two layers of parallax on the rocks in the back, which is pretty innovative for its time, and the water, of course, yeah. And one thing, speaking about two layers, look at this thing. 
What, There's the like the star stars rate? going one way and the stars going the oh, other yeah, way. Yeah, they're kind of going both ways. I never paid attention to stuff like uh, that before. There are some Sonic games where there's scrolling in the foreground too, stuff going in front of you, and that becomes a real pain because sometimes like a surface you have to jump on or, or a platform is covered up by something in the foreground, and it really messes with you. Uh, so I'm glad they don't have anything in the foreground here, as fun as it is. It just messes things up. So anyway, I'm not exactly sure what the story is. I don't know if you want to look at it, but from what I gather, I think if I remember correctly, it's something about Dr. Ivo Robotnik. I never even Ivo. I never even knew he had a first name. He's got a first name. I just always thought like Dr. Robotnik. Mad scientist snatching innocent animals and turning them into evil robots. Yeah, as far as what I remember the story goes is this guy Dr. Robotnik and he wants to control the world, but in order to do it, he has to power up his machine. His death egg, I think, or some big ultimate machine. And he needs Chaos Emeralds to do it. So he's after the Chaos Emeralds, and so that's pretty much the goal of Sonic, is to collect the Chaos Emeralds. It's not fully fleshed out in here. Um, only one tough dude can put an end to the demented scientist's fiendish scheme. So Sonic is one tough dude. He's a dude. He's a dude. I didn't know he was that cool. I just thought he was a cutesy little um, Sonic, the hedgehog. It's a little hedgehog. One thing that I do love too about this game is uh, when you kill an enemy, they stay dead. Like if I kill him and then go putz around and come back, he won't respawn. Huh, yeah, that's really nice. Kind of like um, Resident Evil, I like that they don't come back. They don't keep respawning all the time. Yeah, even if you die, they don't come back. That's really nice. All uh, right, now here's one of the things before I'm going to interrupt oh, you. Yeah, uh, uh, go ahead. <laughs> In order to get the good ending, you have to collect all the Chaos Emeralds. Yes. So that is going to be the main goal. Like I said, we beat games, mm -hmm. but we always want to get the good ending. Yes. Which makes this game brutal. Yeah. Because you die, continue, get game over, you get all the way to the final stage, and you die back to the beginning. Back to the beginning. Do it all over again, and you have to collect all the Emeralds. Yeah. And these parts are a pain. Well, well, there's a cheat code so that you can get back to the level you Yeah, just do level select. Just cheat. Okay, fine. Let's cheat and get unlimited health, unlimited lives, unlimited continues. That's fun. That's fun. Let's and cheat the game. You still don't get the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah. <laughs> um, Come on now. It's Sonic, the real cool hedgehog with spiked haircut and power sneakers that give him super speed. I misread that the first time. I thought maybe it was saying his haircut also gave him super speed. But man, he's edgy. He has a spiked haircut. All right, don't fall down don't there. Don't go there. So this is this is the trap room. Apparently, you're trapped in here, and you're you're uh, trying to get out by getting the chaos emerald or by getting to the doorway. The thing is, like, there it's not go. hard to get to the doorway at all. The whole thing seems to be designed. To get you out of the trap room. You're yeah. not trapped at all. You're trying as hard as you can to stay in to get the Chaos Emerald. Yeah, the manual says this room is a trap room, like you said. Mm -hmm. So you're stuck in here unless you get the Chaos Emerald or you hit the goal. Yeah. But like goal. I said, the problem is it throws you into the goals. It's like, no, we want you out of here. Hurry up yeah. and get into the goal. It's not a trap room so much as like a treasure room or a, a vault. You know, something designed to keep him out. It's a labyrinth. Yeah. Oh, that was close. One that tries to force you out. That's the thing about games like this that irritate me is like, oh, there's an enemy. Like, here comes the fish, jump, and I hit that mm -hmm. as the fish comes up and hits oh, my feet and yeah. deals damage. If you land off of a bouncer, you put it in the springs, they'll throw you into enemies. It doesn't count as jumping. All right, and here's the other thing that makes this game kind of long, but there's lots of exploring. Now I could go to the right and continue on, but check this out. Yeah. Come down here and you get extra goodies. Little secrets. Which is cool, but this is one thing about the game that irritates me, is they do not have a save feature. Mm -hmm. It's like, I really want to go through and explore the game. They obviously wanted you to explore. That's why they made it so big and open world yeah. and have all this hidden content, because they want you to explore and look around. Yeah, true. But no, don't let you save the game. No. Why would you do that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you always want to save it before you do something crazy to see where it takes you. No, you have to play the game all over again if you're going to do that. 
Uh, something I want to clarify here is that you just went into a spin attack. There is still a spin attack if you hit the down button while going forwards fast enough. Yeah, if you uh, just Even start you running and push still. down, you'll just do that. But there is no spin dash. Yeah. And the spin dash is where you, you hold down, you hit the dash button, you go and shoot off. They don't have that in this. And that's uh, one of the other issues I have with this game, is this is how you have to play it. If you're not familiar with Sonic, and uh, you don't have the stages memorized, you got to really take your time and putz through here. Yeah. Because uh, the way they designed the levels, and they put the enemy placement and spike placement, you'll start running, start going fast, and then BAM, you get punished for going fast. Yeah. It's like the way they designed the game, it's a game designed around speed and meant for you to go fast, but they punish you for going fast. Yeah. I hate that. The next TV I want you to stop at before you knock it down, because I want to show it landing on his head. I want to see it land on his head. Because... Oh yeah, the monitors? Yeah, the monitors. I could swear, I guess as soon as your invincibility is gone. Gotta get him before he shoots. I hate that crap. Here. Oh, that won't work. He's on his Yeah, it's gotta be on a tree, I think. There's stuff hidden up in there, too. In the... Donkey Kong palm trees. It reminds yeah. me of Donkey Kong Country. Getting in oh, a palm yeah. tree and smacking it and getting bananas. Get bananas out. That would have been awesome if bananas fell out. <laughs> nice. So somewhere i got to watch it here, because it'll kick you through the stage and you can miss the chaos emerald. Oh, really? Right here. Because I always try to zing through that. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to try to get another Chaos Emerald. Hopefully I can do this. It is nice because in the trap room, they have, in the trap room, they have a certain color. Like here, you got like green and blue. Yeah. But there's a purple color and that will kind of show you where it's at. Oh, really? Okay, so oh. I don't want to go that way. Hit the peppermint. Ah. Bounce in. That's what I would have tried. So if I start pausing... Are the peppermint pausing, bouncers? No. Oh, they're not bouncers. Oh, okay. I, I'm going to call it peppermint. Those are. Oh, okay. And if you Whoa. collect, I think, 50 rings, you get to continue. Hmm. I see. But yeah, somewhere in here... Looks like a ball from Toy Story. See, the colors will be different. Uh -oh, see, we're like looking at yellow and blue, but there'll there be... Goals? Oh, there. Uh, right up here, there's purple. Mm. In the upper right-hand side, that's where I got to go. So I don't want to go down, I want to go all the way to the left, right here. See, now they're purple. And so we're going to get down here, uh -huh. and there's the Chaos Emerald in there. I'm, I'm going to mess this up, man. Oh, man. Well, you got a life. And what, what's hard is I'm like holding to the right, and it's like, yeah, I'm going to throw you to the left. There's yeah. so much of that crap. It's difficult. Oh, like I'm holding the... there you go. And then it does that kind of garbage. Tilting you out. It's like, okay, just uh, go and then jump and then sit. But he does that. He'll go and he'll float. What do those things mean? Down and up. I oh, just noticed that's that. That's speed. Oh. So it changes. Oh, it slows the... down and speeds up? Oh, I didn't know that. You want to avoid the ups, I guess. There we it's go. It's like, okay, sitting there. But see, it pushes oh, me. It's pushing oh. me out of there. It's like there's a magnet. It's like Sonic is made out of metal and he's a magnet. And here's the other magnet. Like, Sonic's positive and here's another positive magnet. It's like pushing me out. Yeah. How'd you get two? Did I already, you yeah, I already one? got one. Oh, I missed that. And so here in Act oh, 3... Man, I'm gonna screw this up. We actually, um... <laughs> here in Act 3, you can't actually get a Chaos Emerald. Because it's when you get to the end, instead of getting a ring, it'll just take you to the boss fight. Oh, uh, okay. And I was actually going to wonder if you... I was going to tell you this earlier. If you want, you don't have to do the Chaos Emerald thing, because I've been practicing it a little bit. Yeah, I, I mean, you only those. get one chance at the Chaos Emerald, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's weird. You, you kind of get one chance, like, in here. Or do you have enough opportunities... If you biff one... Yeah, I think still... if you screw one up, you can still do it in the next stage, uh, but I think you're only allowed so many screw-ups. Yeah, I don't want to really risk it. 
I should probably give you the Chaos Emeralds. So at least if it gets screwed up, I can say it's Janitor Jake's fault. <laughs> now there's a way of getting that TV, is it? Yeah, usually what I do is this, and then jump. Oh, I see. Because, you know, this is a different spot than I was thinking, isn't it? Yeah, the, the other one was on the other level. There's a few way, a few TVs up on top of those things you can't get to unless you find those little secret platform things. Here, now, now knock that thing down. It just came down. Yeah, okay. It just went and you're wearing me. the shield. One time, bounced off your head. Now I know I've played games where if the TV lands on you, you, you die. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if it was. Crushed. And you mentioned that it could have been Sonic Three. I think it was Three. I played Three the most. And the thing is, this is very, very open worldy. Like, like you can continue to go up and up and up, or down and down and down. <sighs> and that's what makes this game brutally long. Is if you take your time and try to explore and get everything, it takes a long time. The problem is, I want to try to get as many rings because if you get a hundred rings, you get an extra life. Yeah. And we sure. want as many uh, oh. rings and like see like crap like that. I thought I jumped, but apparently I bumped into something. Yeah. Oh, his spikes on his head hit that, threw me down, and then I hit the enemy. I guess, I don't know. So, like I said, this is how you have to play the game. Mm -hmm. Is there anything Still coming? I don't know what's up in those trees. Oh, yeah, and there's, there's that. TV. You can only get to it from jumping from the side. So I have to do this, and hopefully I killed all the enemies. Mm. I've gotten that before. It's just it's a real pain. Maybe, do you have to fly up from there, or, or do you just have to zing from the from the quarter pipe, there. I'm going to call it? Now if you take uh, this, you can actually do the boss fight with this. Oh, really? It doesn't do anything. It's <laughs> it just, doesn't really help, because if you touch them, you're doing it anyway. Then you can just stand in here and not ever have to worry about getting yeah, hit. Yeah, screw up the pattern. I didn't know that. There's usually a corner where you can hide in. And it's like, oh, you're cheating. I was like, no, not really. It's part of the game. All if they right. wanted to, they could have designed that out of there. All right, that was Act 1, so I'm going to hand it off to you, and it's going to okay. take you to Marvel Zone, I think. Marvel? Captain Marvel Zone. Yeah. So like I said, the problem is with this one, uh, Marvel Zone. Yeah, Marble Zone. Marble. You have to go even slower than I was. Okay. There's that thing where you're on a slight incline. Sends you off to the side. Yeah, that's I'm what... Not even going, I'm not even touching the arrow. Yeah. yeah. One thing about this stage, we're playing Altered Beast now. Yeah, this is, is like legit ripped right off of <laughs> Altered Beast. Power up! But yeah, what you were saying, the hills can really screw you up. Because if you're on a flat platform, yeah. and you jump, you'll jump straight oh, up. Crud. You'll jump straight up in the air. But... If you're on a hill, you'll jump to whichever way that hill is facing. I, oh man, I haven't played this in a long time, so I'm having trouble getting used to the inertia. That, and that's one of my pet peeves about Sonic. You land right next to the enemy, like one pixel away from the enemy, and you get hit, not hit. Yeah, this stage is really weird because it throws you into the first stage, everything is fine. And then it's like, okay, now you go to the next level of difficulty. The problem is with this one, this isn't like a level 2. This is like a level 7. Because mm -hmm. actually stages after this aren't as hard as this one. Uh, so I don't know why they got so heck-bent. You can go to the left, and there's some goodies in there. Is there? Oh. That's what I mean. Like it's The way you're playing, you're almost playing like too fast now. Yeah, I see. That's what, like I said, that's what ticks me off with this game so much, is unless you have the stages memorized, you have to be extremely careful and slow. Because you have to know what's coming up. Oh, jeez! You just slid right off of that. I'm like, I'm going to stop right on the platform. Oh, you have to move, though. Ah, it just, like, because that slant just, whoo, just pushes you. And in here, too, what's really crazy... If you collect, like, all the rings, you'll only come out with, like, 110 rings. Really? Wow. And I don't even know if you can get over there. I've tried before, and I don't, I don't, I don't know, know if you can. I don't know what that's doing there. Yeah. Maybe you have to drop down from the other side. Maybe, you, I don't know, like I said before, I don't know if you can do this. You and I were talking. Mm -hmm. But putting in Sonic and Knuckles, 
if you yeah. put this game in Sonic and Knuckles, I don't... I heard that you don't get to play as Knuckles. I don't know, but maybe that's for playing as Knuckles. If you can play as Knuckles in Sonic maybe. 1, maybe Knuckles can get over uh, there. Because in Sonic 2, they have very specific spots for oh, Knuckles okay. himself to do. Ah, I keep bumping up into that thing. It's just like... Because, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, a very fast, speedy game. You're just supposed to rush through it, you know? It's so fast-paced. It's ridiculous how slow it is. I have played this, so that's why I know where this goes, but in a long time. I mostly played Sonic 3. I think I said that. Is this with a checkpoint? No, that's just a random thing. Okay. Carefully, carefully. That's I don't know what's on Another thing, too. We're also playing this game in celebrate. We're also playing this game in celebration of the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, one thing I noticed, well, the movie, he's got super speed. He's got like electricity because of the co commercials or whatever. So he has super speed. But according to the manual, he only has super speed because of his sneakers. Yeah. It even says it. It's Sonic, the real cool hedgehog. With the spiked haircut and power sneakers that give him super speed. Oh, so, so he has power sneakers. Yeah. That's where he gets his speed from. Uh, there are instances you have to do little jumps. Like, I just really want to, when I'm like nervous, I really want to crank down on that jump button. He's going to fly way up, hit something on the ceiling, and fall down into the lava. And yeah. then he's just like, whoop. Really short ones, short jumps. Or you might overshoot, too. That's a risk. See? And they give you a time limit in here, too. It's weird. The oh, time, really? The time counts up. No. But um, when you hit 10 minutes, it's a game over. Oh, so it really should be counting down. Great. That's another instance of jumping too high. I hit the ceiling, and I couldn't... <sighs> Fine, whatever. Oh, See, and that's like, a, I mean, like, when you start going, um, like, you're not going fast. No, I'm not but just really stuff going like fast, that. but it's almost still too fast to... Yeah, it's like you gotta stop, look gotta, up. Like, calm down. You gotta look up in the air. Ah, what the heck? You have to be cautious. No, I don't know if that's you. gonna, yeah, yeah that's it, gonna it kill does, me. it'll kill you when you You have you to get the that. timing right. Okay, you almost have to just walk off that platform. And now I think, I don't, you could go to, no, okay, you can't go to the left. I thought there was a spot where you could jump to the left, but not here. So uh, take your time. Everything oh, yeah, and those are right out of Mario. Uh, yeah. And they come out really quick, too. Oh, jeez. I tried to jump to the right in the stupid hill. Yeah, see how the hill goes down? And then it, right at the very edge, it turns up to the left. So I'm trying to jump right, and it sends me straight up. Yeah, it kicked you really... off to the left. So I have to get a running start. And you have to do it now. Oh, jeez. It's like, okay, I'm going. Yeah, like I said, his momentum, they treat him like he's a robot. I think he's just made a, oh, frick. Made a lead. Oh, jeez. That's not going to fix. Oh, I can't fix that. How about if I go back up and go forward to him? Waiting for that. Oh, it's kind of like driving. Hey, good, okay. And usually those guys, the caterpillar things, I just try to ignore. Yeah, because if you land on them wrong, you really biff it up. And they do have the uh, enemy, some of the enemies written in the manual. Oh, I don't know what that... Oh yeah, here so we go. Hard. Oh yeah, we can't get a Chaos Emerald because we need 50 rings. Oh, are you serious? I didn't know that. Well... Well, crap. Yeah, that caterpillar thing is called Caterkiller. Caterkiller. And then some of the fish, the fish that were jumping up is called Chopper. Chop. Chopper, not Chomper. Okay. And then the crabs, that's called Crab Meat. Okay. Crab Meat. And that thing, I think those are Buzz Bombers. Like a, like a bee. Yeah. That's another thing, too. If you land, like, a split second before the enemy gets there, and you're like, oh, I have to hurry up and jump, get into jump mode so I can actually hurt him, and, you, like, that split second, that nanosecond when you're landing there, you don't have time to get into jump mode before he gets there. Yeah. And you can't hurt him again. So it's not only space, it's, it's timing, too. 
I have to get rid of this guy. I'm surprised it didn't just zing me off into the lava. Yeah, and what surprises me about the game is I'm surprised you didn't accidentally hit the spikes on him. Oh, great. Fan-freaking-tastic. Just go, Sonic. Jeez. And that's what I mean, like, you have to collect, like, every single ring that this game throws at you. Fantastic. Because in oh. Marble Zone, they get really cheap there. and skimpy with it. And one of the tricks you can do is, like, go and you see an enemy and just drop down and go into your roll. Oh, really, yeah. But the problem is, are you going to come it's out hard. of that roll and then... It's like, like, hitting the down button goes into the roll, but it takes him, like, three seconds to get into that roll. Yeah. Two, three, four. He didn't even do it. I don't know. Yeah, it feels like the controls are kind of wonky. All right, so here's a really goofy spot. You want to stay on here. But you have to jump up so you don't get knocked off. And then, if you want, jump up there and you can get some goodies. Oh, really? Here? Jump and then go to the right before that fire hits you. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. And now if you, you have to be real careful, but platform to the left. Oh, and keep an eye on that kind of garbage. Oh, jeez. What have you gotten me into, Jake? Oh, jeez. <laughs> to the left? Just, yeah. Okay. Good thing I remember which way it was left. Oh, crap. 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 Okay, in this part, you gotta rush oh, to the right because I <laughs> hate this. Let me, let me power up here. Power up! Might as well, we're in freaking. What you call it? Ultra Beast. Beast. So you gotta run, and then jump, then run, and then jump. Kind of reminds me of um, Rocket Knight Adventures. Oh, yeah? Here, be careful, because stuff will come down. Oh, does it? Shoot. At I some point. I don't know where to go. Do yeah. I go left or right? Or... I was lucky. We know it wasn't skill. Like <laughs> I, I said, mean, let's be honest. Yeah, like I said, this stage, you really gotta putz through it. So just take your time. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, frick. Oh, and their bodies, after you kill them, they still attack you. Like, oh no, their spiky remains are still gonna kill you. Oh, I hate this crap. Do I have to... Okay, I can stop running now? Yeah. If I'd known that, I would've stopped down there. Well, that's what I'm... Oh, Maybe yeah. I couldn't. I don't know. Well, frick, now I only have one string. So, coming up. This is a weird part of memorization. Basically, ride that all the way to the end. And you can just hop on that and don't touch the direction buttons, because okay. lava will shoot you up. But oh. if you start getting freaking out, you'll start trying to run off that block. So just stay on the oh, block. Snikes! And it'll never knock you off. Of course, I need to jump up here. But here's a memorization part. When it gets to the end, you're going to have to jump and get out of there. Uh -huh. Otherwise, it traps you at the bottom, and then you just you die. It's a cheap death coming up. Oh! It's like, I want him to go, I think he's gonna zing. Right there, jump and get over there. Oh, crap. Man, that was, that was good, okay. Actually, I do think there's a block, so if you screw it up, you land on that block, and I think it takes, oh, it takes you back, back, and you gotta redo it. Oh, that makes sense. But at least, they allow you to redo it. Great. It's like, it's like trying to get him to fall off the edge. It's like, uh, no, uh, it's like, I missed my chance. Yeah, the developer, the developers were so proud of themselves for doing animation like that. Yeah, but it really messes up the gameplay. Uh, so here you can run forward and push down. I'll try. He didn't do it! I did push down. Frick. <sighs> Stupid edge. Fine. There. Oh, I'm surprised body parts didn't fly all over and kill me. Wouldn't that be great in a zombie game if you shoot the zombies and all the parts started flying around and slap you in the face? Yeah. Just trying to think of a modern day equivalent. Alright, if you go to the left, there you go. Because, you know, super speed, he gets right up that hill. Yeah. There's some stuff back there. I think this is just going to fall out from underneath me and drop me into lava. I don't know what to expect from this game. Okay, what happened to being able to jump sideways when you land on an incline? Yeah, that's painful to watch, I know. Then you got all this lava that's oh. gonna shoot out. I didn't want to overshoot, 
And then I end up catching the edge of that thing. I just, I'm done. Like, let's just, just end it all right now. And the thing is, you're only on act two. You got a whole third act to go. And it's going to be longer and harder, which is ridiculous. Like I said, it's just so, like, garbage to me. It's like, this stage isn't, like, a level two stage. Ooh, you stupid incline. Does that look like an incline to you? I'm like, I'm trying to go to the left, and it's pushing me right. Or, I'm trying to go to the right, and it's pushing me left. Yeah, see, you're on the left. Now you're on the right side. If you stand right there and jump, it'll push you edge. to the right. Yeah. We've been on the edge. I mean... I guess normally... Oh, yeah, here we go. It's going to be enemy galore because you're close to the end. I wouldn't be... Oh, there's that, that, that stupid... So close to the enemy, and it hurts me and not him. Yeah, now they're all going to come out of the woodwork. You, like I said, usually I ignore those guys. Well, I got them, and it still hurts me. That, that is the thing about Sonic. Like, Sonic 1, I always had that problem with. The, you, there's this little grace room. I've talked about that in Sonic 2. It's even worse in Sonic 1. Is there anything up here I'm supposed to get? No. It's gonna... <laughs> I would just go to the right. Like, normally I would not be too upset. You gotta jump. I just want to take time to talk while I can. Um, I wouldn't be too upset about this, because I'm actually surviving the level. But, you know, we need the rings to get the Chaos Emeralds. Oh, wow, no lava underneath me? I'm surprised. Yeah, and that's the thing about the game, like I've um, said, is most people who are probably watching this are like, oh, you're just bad, you're so bad. It's like, well, the people watching this that are saying that are people who have memorized the level and can speedrun it because they know where to go. Now, I don't know why that worked. I landed right on the middle of his body and I still got him. <laughs> Didn't get hurt. It's not because I'm wearing a shield. Now what's underneath me? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. oh yeah, it's oh. lava. This is what I mean. Like you can't just fly through here. You have to like intricately take your time and slowly platform the whole thing. Grand Canyon, frickin' frack the tap brother. Ah no, did not time that right. And you can just rush. Now I don't know why that did that. I bet you you got underneath that block, and it smashed you. There's plenty of room under the block. All right, here we go. Just try to rush and jump over all the blocks. I don't you think can... I'm gonna. I'm just gonna ride. Oh, or not. I have to pretend that I'm on the block so that I don't get crushed. Because then you can rush through the enemies like that. I think it's faster. I think it's faster. Oh yeah, watch that spike. Oh. That was so close, I could have totally biffed it because I was right at the end of my invincibility. Okay, there's nothing up here. Then you gotta watch these spikes coming down. There's another one. Okay. Usually you can jump on that one and then go to the right. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Sideways jumping. Alright, I only have two, 22 rings, so... <clears throat> I do like that they kept that music in Sonic 2. That ending music. Yeah. Okay. I don't like that they changed up the music for some other Sonics. Like, they started using the music for one thing in, in another se section. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Time for challenge level 15 now. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that I could hit him in the middle of the body. Did I miss a ring back here at all? No. So you can hit the caterpillars right in the middle of the no, body? No, not the caterpillars, the bees. Oh, the bee? I expected, oh, you hit a stinger. No, oh, that was the wrong spot. You didn't want to aim for the stinger. You know, where the bee bites you. Yeah, it bites you. No, there's something to the left. Here. Yeah, that uh, that's just kind of like this makes it labyrinthy. If you oh, go in it? there, it just kind of goes oh, and loops around and does and all this and crap. I can get more rings, I guess. But yeah, you can go that way if you want. Oh, it's just you have to go crap. down. It's gonna loop back around underneath. Is it? I think that's how the whole stage is. Though it just kind of zigzags. Oh crap! I knew that was gonna happen. 
Now I can't get back. Now good luck running across that thing because, you know, Sonic has such good speed. He'll yeah. just fly He's through this. He's so fast. Now this you can drop down and stand and that uh, one thing won't hit you if you stand oh, in the corner. I did not say go forward. I said drop. That was a controller issue. Yeah, if, okay. you, if you drop down, you can just stand in that corner. And he's not. Oh, that other corner. Oh, you mean the one? Oh, okay. The one just to the right. Yeah. Okay, I see. All right. Lava? Right into lava? Oh, okay. I do know coming up here on stairs, spikes will come out of the stairwells. Mm, yeah, sometimes. Now, in some Sonics, you can land on the spikes. Like when they come out sideways, you can land right on that. Yeah. And some of them that hurts you. Yeah, this one you can't do that. Now how do I do this? I can't jump. You have to back up and then run and roll. Oh, oh you just oh, okay. There we go. You just hold the down button and try to move sideways. Oh wow, rings. Coins. Oh, coins. Yeah, I got some coins. Even as a kid, I called them coins. I'd never played Mario, and I still called them coins. And we are playing it on the original Sega Genesis, too. That's true. No more of that AT games garbage. Yeah, that would mess everything up. Wow, he didn't sit there and try to teeter-totter on the edge of that one. Yeah, this game is like Twitch gaming. Like, okay, okay, be careful. Okay, stop. Okay, twitch to the right, twitch to the left, left, right, left, right, 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 left. Left, left, right, left, left, right, left. Uh-oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Oh, I'm surprised that came out and enabled you to oh, do that. Oh, no! Oh, yeah, you have to go up. I forgot about that. Are you serious? Are you serious? This is that cheap death. This is that cheap death crap. See, you have to go up and do all this goofy, like, okay, try to build momentum and build speed. Oh, no. Bad haircut. Oh, you. jeepers, crappers. Jeepers. I told him to stop, and he just keeps going. Oh! Like I said, this game is based on anti-speed. Like when you think you're going slow, you're that's, not going slow see, enough. They're like, "Wow, he's super fast. He can kill. He can kill Robotnik. That's super fast. That's his weakness. What are you talking about? That's a hazard in this game." Ooh. Yeah, that bat creature isn't uh, written in the manual, so I have no idea what he is. What his name is? No, he's not canon. And then all the nerds will be like, that's a bad attack! That's a bad attack! What are you talking about? It's not written in the manual! <laughs> I'm sorry I have to go on the internet to figure these things out. Yeah. I need the Sonic the Hedgehog player's guide. Go to the forum. I need to go to the Sonic the Hedgehog forum. I need to get the Sonic the Hedgehog encyclopedia. I have to... Fine! Fine! There you go. Good! Donkey Kong just did a huge jump attack at the television. That's great. Oh! <laughs> what? Where am I? Okay. I never knew that was even there. Oh, look at an extra life. Cool. Which we definitely need. need. Jeez. Thanks, Chris. I didn't even know that. Anything else in here? Oh! <laughs> That'd be awesome if it brought you to the end. I wonder if there's anything like up. Yeah, just right to the end of the game. Careful now. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, I'd wait for that to fall down and then just run right onto it. Am I above it, though, or am I below it? No, I'm below oh. it. I have to jump out. Little jumps. Oh, jeez. Anyway, like I was saying, we need the encyclopedia, and you might as well read the <gasps> comics as well. Let's get the comic books, too, and read so we can follow the lore. One little teeny tiny spike right there. Sonic right. the Hedgehog Endgame. Like like Avengers Endgame. Yes, Except nice. this is better, apparently. Marvel Sonic's Endgame. But yeah, like I said, it's like there's so much lore and stuff you can follow, but like I said, they, that's one thing about manuals that I don't like. It's like, oh, we're going to put an enemy list. Grand But Canyon. then there'll be a bunch of enemies you can't like that's not in there. Like those guys. Oh yeah, now you gotta be really careful because you don't have any brains. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> At least I can get that life back, right? Good luck finding that again. Smash open video monitors with the supersonic spin attack. 
to get special items that help you help you defeat evil Dr. Robotnik. You gotta smash him, bro. Smash, bro. I'm finna smash that video monitor, bruh. Bruh. And that's the thing too with the movie, like in the trailer. Yeah. Okay, they gave they made his stomach like without any fur, but his arms don't have fur either in the games. And then that, oh my gosh, I hit it from the side and it still hurts me. Oh, that was lucky. See, we were talking about um Sonic the Hedgehog's arms, but even in the video game Sonic 06, yeah, on the Xbox 360, he had regular peach arms. They did. Huh. So I don't know when he had the blue on his arms. Yeah, I don't know, because, I don't know, like this new version that you see in all of this, you can't get a plushie that has peach arms. Yeah. I cannot find a plushie that looks like the original, and he's got that stupid bandana on, too. Hm. So I don't know which version had the bandana. Comment below and let us know when he finally got the blue arms in the games. Yeah. Because I don't know when. Because, like I said, the game that came out in 2006... Oh! Oh, I hate this game so much, Jake. The game that came out in 2006, he, st he still had his regular flesh-colored arms. See, look at that. <gasps> Why? What? I tried to move and he just sat there. Oh, I went the wrong way. Right. If I try to squeeze underneath that thing, I die too. Oh wait, I was supposed to go up this way. Isn't this the spot? No. Like I said, there's so many spots in this game that repeat like this. They're just identical. It's, it's all identical throughout the entire stage. Oh! So you can jump on the spike, but you can't stand on the tip. Oh, and by the way, good luck finding them a checkpoint, too. <laughs> but, like, they, they don't even put checkpoints in here. He just sat there! I hate this son of a gun. He, I... Your turn! Except we do get continue, so... Alright, you get to take over. I'm surprised you want me to play the Why Zone is it back 3? to Act 3? I thought it would have started back at Act 1. Yeah, that surprises me. You want me to do it? Do it. Just freaking do it. That's one thing, like, to get the spin dash, yeah. you have to hold and then completely let off the controls and while he has momentum push down. Uh -huh. It's like you can't push down while holding to the oh. right, or he'll just be like, nah, I'm not going to go down. At once. Right. It's like, I'm just going to continue going to the right now. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, this game, you just like inch, twitch back and forth. Like, if I had a camera to show what my fingers are doing, you would just see like this constant, just like... Even though you're just sitting still. Yeah, that's maybe part of my mistake, is that when you get to the edge of a surface... And you try to walk off it, he does a stupid little pause animation like... Uh, uh, it's like it... It's almost like having a lip that he gets stuck on. Except yeah. the lip is just his own inhibitions. He gets scared. He gets freaked out when he gets close to the corner. So you have to avoid all corners. The, the corner of a block in this game, the corner of a platform that you have to stand on, that's a hazard in this game. Because Sonic is just so scaredy, he has to go into a little uh, animation. Yeah. And sometimes you tell him to go forward, he just sits there. Until he just flies off the edge into a big pit of lava. Yeah, it's interesting. He has momentum. Like, I'm pushing, okay, now let go, and he'll continue to go forward. Yeah. But as soon as you jump and land on an edge, like like crap like that, you just gotta memorize that there's stuff there. Lagging out now, so many rings. But um, like he has this momentum, but like you jump, he'll like almost instantly stop and go into an animation. Yeah. It's like bam, go into the animation now. Yeah, and that really messes up the game. 
Why not? Yeah, like I said, this whole time I'm just like twitching back and forth. Yeah. I'm trying to keep them from like right now I hit to the left. So like I'm gonna jump over here. I'm not gonna hold to the right. Yeah. I'm gonna go like this and then hit to the left. Oh. So it doesn't go flying, flying forward. forward. Yeah. Now here I can't jump here because they'll do that, kick me to the left. Yeah. So I have to go and then jump there. And the right timing, and it keeps and I gotta hold the left the edge into another fireball or in the lava pit. This is just look at that. Oh, a checkpoint! Check wow, wee zowie! All right, boss time. I forgot what this guy does. Oh, I remember. These, these bosses are actually pretty simple. If you just now just go like this. Now. as long as you kind of pay attention. There you go. And then just don't hit the lava. Yeah. I do think it's cool, like, the main bad guy you're fighting is Robotnik, but in different forms. Yeah. Yeah, he always grabs another, another machine. Alright, so that was Marble Hill Zone, or Marble Zone. And so now it's my stage. <laughs> Spring Yard Zone. This is the one that's kind of reminds me of like pinballs. Yeah. But there's so much stuff like this. Like, oh, I can run through that, right? No, you can't. I like the clean feel of this. It's such a neat feel to it. Like, just that, like, little light thing spinning around. It looks just kind of neat and crisp and clean. Alright, I have no idea where to go. I thought there was something over here to the left. Like, if you do that, yeah. I don't really want the shoes, because, you know, you want the speed, right? Yeah, because that helps you defeat Dr. Robotnik. Robotnik. You got Purple Mountain's Majesty in the background. Oh, yeah, there is, yeah. I guess we're on the same planet as um, uh, Simon's Quest, I'm going to call it. Is that right? Double Dragon? Double Dragon. There's a lot of that kind of nonsense. What would that say? Cope. Cope? I can't cope. You gotta cope with this game. Yeah. Like, just cope. Cope with it. Everything's cope aesthetic. Alright, I need to kill him so they don't resp- or don't, fine. You know what, I'll re-trigger him then so I can kill him. That's a word I haven't heard in a long time. Cope aesthetic. Probably pronouncing it wrong. Alright, so now... Because, you know, speed. And then look at that! It went right through the wall. Now why did he come back? I never ran into one that was coming from the back. That's what makes me mad, too, with, like... It's also confusing why you died. Because it smashed me between those two thingamajigs. Wow. No, that's stuff like that. that he... So I killed all the enemies, but now I'll go back. Oh, but there's a brand new enemy that yeah. comes out. Yeah, there was never an enemy there before. Doesn't spawn until you go backwards. So there, and there. Maybe it was. Maybe there. And then there's another one. So I guess I got to do this. Okay, do it again. Any more? Nope. I, I can't continue on. I can't continue on because Come I got to do this. Yep. I got to fool around and make sure that there's no enemies coming that's gonna sneak and get me. Yep. Okay, here comes another one, right? A spawn generator, you don't know. We're playing Two Rock Evolution. Yeah. Now. All right, now I know this. Here's a weird enemy. Check this out. Bam! He just comes out of the woodwork. But I can't go up there to kill. So you just got to dodge him. Huh. You can't kill him, I believe, when he's in his circular form. You huh. have to wait for that creature to stop, and then you can bonk him on the head. Yeah. But he'll stop on like those. I don't even know what that did. It lifted that thing that was over there. No. I don't know. Right oh. there. He's almost like a. I'm gonna get you. He's like anti Sonic. Then you gotta do this. That's great. Like, look at that. Like, it's like, oh, it wants you to rush through there. But well, look at that. You would have hit know that. There's speedrunners who probably can and know exactly the pattern, but if you. Oh. Wow. And that stopped me. I had to jump over that block. Jeez. I mean, you have to have the whole thing memorized. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, there's people that can fly through this game. And they're probably watching it, complaining that we're doing so bad. It's like, but 
play, I don't have the stages yeah. memorized. I don't They've have played that game a million times. If you're the you like coming in for the first time and you want to play it right, uh, they didn't they didn't really make games like that back then. So we're I'm not going to hit this. that thing. <laughs> we're coming into this hoping to start playing the game for the first time and play through and beat it. Basically, this is a blind playthrough. Yeah, Even this... though I've played a little bit and I'm somewhat familiar, I've never beaten this game. Yeah. And in blind playthroughs, it's all about skill. Um, this is, it really isn't a game about skill. It's about memorization. You have to be skilled at this game in particular. I'm I still not... have to memorize this thing. Looks like you can still go to the left. I'm not going to worry about it. Because I just want to kind of, you know, continue. Well, I uh -oh. shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. That was risky, man. Some risky business going on. Well, I like that guy. So this, do that. CPU. CPU. They're like, oh, we're really we're nerdy and cool like a computer. CPU. Central processing unit. Central processing. Only a unit. few people will know what we're talking about. <laughs> you know what this is from? Bubsy. Oh yeah, there was a thing like that in Bubsy. That's right, and it was a pain in the butt too. It was the boulder. Yeah, the boulder. This is why a lot of people call Bubsy a Sonic ripoff because there is a lot of um. Yeah. Now what? He probably looked at that and he's like, "Wow, that's pretty original. I haven't seen one of those before. Let's put that." In yeah, Bubsy. let's put it in my game. Yeah. So he, so Michael Berlin, the creator of Bubsy, did take a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, he did. crap. Even though that's off screen, that crap thing will shoot stuff out. And my inclination is to just, like, land in the middle and see what's there. But it's probably just a bunch of spike floors. Oh, wow, I'm surprised I killed that thing before it shot me. Yeah, it shoots things out of its clamps. That's great. Oh, a television. Oh, I got a life. I got an extra life. Wow. What's that? Look at that crap! Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have just killed him when I had the chance. Mm -hmm. Oh, too bad. I, I wanted to explore. Heaven forbid. I... What's on the left, right there? That. I'm trying to get in there. Oh. You have to land in the middle and then jump over the bouncy thing. So what is that? What is that? And then, no. Oh, I goofed off too much. Nope. Yep. You lost your chance. <laughs> I had I had it too. I was oh. able to get the Chaos Emeralds, but no, no, I had to explore. Cause you know the game developers made the stages so big that you're supposed to explore them. But then again, you get punished to do it. Yeah. Let's punish you. How dare you explore? I need to take a potty break. Go take a wee wee in the pot pot. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep playing this and try to get. Uh, try to get going farther and farther. Fine. Do this. I'm surprised they didn't shoot stuff out. Uh, we we'll go up here. These guys. It's like you got double. Well, it's double the trouble, but twice as nice. And that, like, the not acknowledging of the button inputs. I pushed down. I pushed the down button and it just said, forget you. Just not going to do it. There's so many times where I'll hold the down button to go into the spin mode and he just won't do it. And that's what gets you. That's the crap that gets us. It's like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to go up. And it's just anti going up. It's trying so hard to prevent me from getting up here. It just does not want me to do this. Nice ring design right there, by the way. I need rings, too, if I want to get the Chaos Emeralds. So this is where you have to just take your time and intricately, intricately go through every single section of the stage. So you can try to collect enough rings to try to go for the Chaos Emeralds. So this is where... Yeah. Fine. Okay. See what's in here now. See, they should be giving you an extra life in here instead of being like, look at you found a secret. Okay, what's the secret? Nothing. You just run through it. 
And we're gonna have hazards in here too. Alright, come on. And it just keeps going. I bet you it takes you to the end and I won't have enough. Oh wow, you did get extra life in here. I was gonna say, it seems like it's building up in the ring department, so I should have enough rings to uh, be able to get the go for the Chaos Emerald. But and now I'm gonna get that other Sonic, that robot Sonic character. It's a robot hedgehog. It's gonna come through here. He's gonna freak out, and then I'm gonna have to try to dodge his attack. I'm assuming. Ah, just all this patient stuff. Just gotta be so patient. Especially for a first timer playing this thing. I've never, like I said before, I've never really played the game. I've putzed around with it. I sat down, played it a little bit here, played it a little bit there, and tried some stuff. But I never really fully sat down and was like, I'm gonna beat this game. Man, this. You gotta really concentrate on all this stuff, too. That's actually kind of a breath of fresh air having the platforming stuff like that. And then it throws me. Please tell me I'm at the end here and I can get a Chaos Emerald. Okay. Holy cow. Alright, so I can get a Chaos Emerald. Hopefully. I still gotta try. I'm The Secret Room. That's what they call it in the manual. The secret they room? call it the Secret Room. Oh, really? So I gotta go to the Secret Room now. So I'm going to do lots of pausing because I want to make sure. Oh yeah, this room, it's like a big giant open world, I think. And the, the emerald is right smack dab in the middle. The problem is, because it's open world like this, it's a big open room, it's going to be... I have to try to use like pause glitches. Hey, that's See, a good it's, idea. It's right there in the middle. Ah! That kind of... I'm holding to the right and he's sitting there stuck. Like that. It, it, uh. It's like, just sit in there. Yeah, I wonder if there's a reason why it reverses. Holy cow, they put it behind a gigantic shield. Oh no. Oh no! Exactly. Those, those peppermints, I think there's something with the peppermints. Depending on which way they're spinning. Because <laughs> I'll sit on a peppermint, and I'll push to the right. And while I'm pushing to the right, he just sits there and spins. Because he wants to go to the left so bad. Mm. Oof. I, it's almost like they made it like, like oh hey, there's the goal. They made it easy to zip, 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 and then you're out. Like, wow, I won. I feel really great about myself now. But then it's like, oh, the Chaos Emerald in the middle? Oh, there's the Easter egg. Yeah. Oh, you get a little Easter egg there. Chaos Emerald. But yeah, like I was saying, the, the game, when you get into that secret room, it just wants to throw you all over the place. It wants... It's almost as if, like, it's Mortal Kombat. I've yeah. heard stories with Mortal Kombat. The reason why, like, Mortal Kombat 2 is so hard is because the computer already knows what you're doing. Like, when you put in a button combination, like, if you're trying to do a special move, and you have to hit, like, down, right, high punch to do a special move, when you hit down and right, the computer is so fast, it realizes, oh, you're going to do this special move. So when you hit down and right, he readies himself and blocks your attack. Yeah, it already it's, knows what you're going to do. It's almost like the secret room is doing that. Thank you. Hmm. The secret room is saying, okay, you're pushing to the right, so I'm going to force you to the left. I bet you can go down and to the left down there. And now there's really no reason to even collect the rings. Like, ugh. I need to count that. Like, how long do they take to shoot those out? Oh, yeah. Like I said, there's really no reason now to collect the rings because I'm not going to get a Chaos Emerald. The only reason is for damage, so I can basically not die. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee I'm never going to collect 100 rings to get an extra life in this section. Now look at that. Alright, so I'm going to... You know what? I'm just going to go up. Well, oh, you I'm almost gonna, died there. I'm going to go down. <laughs> I kind of wanted to get up top. So if there's one, there's always two. So somewhere there must have been a glitch and it never triggered the other one. So now I'm going to have to do this and try to trigger the other one. Because every time I've seen those things, it's always been two of them. Yeah. Well, and I, didn't make that and I'm not going that way because that's going to be a pain. Yeah, see? Uh, 
So there's always two of those stupid things. Whoa! <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> That's crazy. I like that. <laughs> That's pretty It's pretty sweet. fun. Except I want that one, and I'm not going to get it now. Yeah. Robo Sonic. Oh. Get. Inertia. Yeah, that. You can't stand on it. Wow, now it does. But I'm sorry, I was... I wonder how far over I can get. Yeah, right there. Well, it depends it just, on inertia, too. It automatically throws you off. So when I'm going like this, like I said, you land, he takes a couple steps. Yeah, he takes those two steps and it automatically pushes you. It's This is like being on an ice skate rink, but with something less control. <sighs> Never mind. My analogy's gonna fall apart. I take it back. Never mind. Yeah, it's like being on an ice rink. Yeah, without ice skates. Yeah, he's really slippery. With a lot of landmines all over the place. So there's landmines everywhere. I better just rush now. You're, wear you're not wearing ice skates. And you're sliding around. Oh yeah, ice. crap. You have to go. I forgot. Now there's no floor. I forgot about that. So you have to do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's down? I don't know, because he's too busy doing an animation because the developers thought it'd be cool and funny to do that. It's the hamster dance song. Yeah. In slow motion. Sorry, a late response. I couldn't think of the name of the song. Oh yeah, and this guy's actually pretty simple, that's all he does. You just gotta wait. I don't even know how many times I hit him. Like, come on! You beat him and you... Bounced off into death zone there. Just the design is, in, in general, all right to the spike. So right away he does it. Yeah. I I imagine you only get one hit at, in him, at him. Need rings? Like you saw, these really crisp, clean lines. You got these neon things going on. But in the background you had... What? How did that... He's invincible for the first few seconds that he shows so up. So for the first few frames, the first few seconds that he shows up, he's invincible. Robotnik is invincible. You gotta wait for him to completely clear the screen before you can hit him. But then you gotta hit him really fast before the spike comes out. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, so I can interrupt you again. So I like natural and artificial lighting combined. <laughs> So I want to do this and jump, but he won't do it. I want to do it, so there we go. Now get out of there, He's, you're stuck, you idiot. Stuck inside a collision box. Excuse me. Or stuck between collision boxes. I always like to have rings when I'm attacking for Butnik. I guess I need to count to see how many times I hit him. Because it just feels like he just keeps going on forever. <sighs> that was Springtrap Zone, wasn't it? Bunch of piggy boos jumping out. Yeah. And, um... Spring Yard Zone. Now it's Labyrinth Zone. I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to hand it off to you. Oh, great.